you guys my name is Sakina Marie and welcome back to the channel so today I'm coming back to you guys with this beautiful faux lock goddess lock looks raise uh, I did do all this I did do half of my head myself. It literally took me forever to only do half of my hair. So I'm just going to forewarn you. You literally need like a whole day to complete this. Because I didn't do the crochet. I did do them all from scratch. So I used the Marley hair. I got some deep wave hair. Um, the braiding hair if you want to do the braiding hair. Personally, I didn't use that. If you guys want to see how I achieved this look, then go ahead and stay tuned. Thank you. Alright you guys, so we're going to go ahead and start off just moisturizing our scalp. Make sure, especially if you're not doing this new, that you are moisturizing that scalp. Also go ahead, you can do it either way. I show you both in the video, but you can go ahead and either braid your hair, French braid it, or you can two strand twist your hair. Now we're going to go ahead and take that braiding hair, the curly deep wave hair, we're going to connect it to our hair. Just literally connect one end to the other and then the third end that's what's going to be your braiding hair all right now that we have that we're going to go ahead and take our marley hair you're going to take one piece basically split it in half put half up against that braid that you just made and then the other half is what you're going to twist with so you want to make sure you have it at the base of your hair and do not twist it tight. If you can see, it kind of looks like I'm twisting it tight on my hair, but I'm not. You want it to be as loose as possible because you do not want your hair to come out. So you're just going to twist it around the base of that braid about three or four times. And then if you can watch closely what I'm doing, I'm wrapping it around and then I'm taking my finger and I'm flattening it out so it's not all bumpy and it actually looks like a dread. So you're just going to continue that process. <laughs> Wrap it around each time and then make sure you flatten it out. Alright, now you're going to take another piece of Marley hair. We don't need the whole thing, so you see me just cut it in half literally do the same thing take about half of the marley hair or about three-fourths you don't need half put it against your hair and then start twisting you want to twist up first so that you cover the demarcation where you left off and then start twisting down make sure though that you're still flattening it out and it might be a bit bumpy because you had to go over but that is totally fine because nobody's dreads are the same size now we're at the end so we're ready to glue so we're gonna go ahead and take our nail glue and we're gonna put a little bit of glue on that Marley twist or I'm sorry on that dread and we're gonna fold that hair over so that it sticks and make sure you're careful because this glue burns hot. Alright, now we're going to go ahead because we cannot be walking around like that. We're going to go ahead and cut off that excess Marley hair from the dread. there you have it now to make it you know not so stiff we're gonna go ahead and roll it between our fingers and boom we're done so the reason why you see me cut the dread is because that's the length that I wanted it you can stop wherever you want if you want them to be a little shorter if you want them to be a little longer that's up to you so we're gonna go ahead and start off with the next piece of our hair make sure you moisturize your scalp and your hair this time, I'm going to do a two-strand twist. You want to start out with a fringe braid at the base of your hair. hair and then I went to a twist, and then now I'm fringe braiding that deep wave hair back onto my hair. and 
take your barley hair, go ahead and put half against your braid, and then the other half we're going to twist with. So go ahead, do about three, four twists on your at the base of your hair, and then go ahead and start twisting down. Make sure you're flattening out the um, dread. seal it with that glue you can honestly use whatever glue you want to I just use nail glue because that's what I what was easily accessible go ahead roll it you see at the tip of my hair it is not as tight it's not too tight go ahead take that second piece Make sure you t start twisting up so that so that the hair does not fall out. And then continue braiding down. Twisting down. I'm sorry. I don't know why I keep saying braiding. <laughs> So now I'm going to go ahead and show you how to not redo the twist, but how to make it look a little neater. So we're going to go ahead, still go ahead and make sure you moisturize your scalp. All we're going to do is we're going to take a little piece of that Marley hair and we're going to wrap it around the base. I think I took about half of a, Mar of a piece of Marley hair. We're going to just wrap it around the base like normal. And literally, we're going to take it, flatten it out, go as far as the Marley hair takes you, and then glue it, and boom, you're done with it. So instead of starting from scratch, taking a dread out, you know, if you're just redoing your, cleaning up your dreads, literally, you can take a piece of Marley hair, twist it around the root of your hair, and literally leave it like that. You don't have to redo the whole thing. Now, if you want them to be perfect, I would recommend you redoing the whole thing. But I didn't want mine to be perfect. And I wanted some of them to be thicker than the other. So, that's why I did it this way. And it's way faster. And it looks just as neat. <laughs> exactly where to pull 
So we're going to take the other half of that piece of Miley hair and we're going to go ahead and twist it around the base of our hair for the first braid. <laughs> don't have to wrap it around as many times as if you're starting from scratch. Just wrap it around maybe like two times and then start flat twisting it down from there. <laughs> The lumps and bumps if you like them to be different sizes but you don't like the lumps and bumps and you can see the line of demarcation literally take a piece of hair jewelry and put it over it that's what i did But for the sake of this video, I only did the first four in the front. any kind of mousse that you want this is going to add to the hair looking nice and sleek and clean and flat <laughs> take our edge wax or any type of edge control that you own and we're just gonna go ahead and swoop them edges <laughs> on so that we can flatten out those edges. Alright you guys, thank you so much for staying tuned to this video. I really appreciate it. Hopefully this was a very helpful video. Hopefully it wasn't too fast. Hopefully it wasn't too complicated for you guys. Hopefully you're actually able to grasp the concept of how to do goddess flaws because it is complicated. I'm not even gonna lie. But if you guys like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Also, make sure you go ahead and subscribe to your girl's channel. And also, just go ahead and leave me a little comment down below. Let's have a conversation. Let's engage. Again, I just want to say thank you guys so much for staying tuned. And until next time, bye you guys.